Have you ever faced this problem before? You're building a level for your platformer, but not sure where to place the platforms. You take a guess, and it turns out wrong. Or how about this? You want to test an area in your game that's kind of far from spawn point. So every time you run your project, you have to painstakingly drag yourself there. Every time. Miss one jump on the way, and you gotta retry again. If so, then this video is for you. What you need is to make small and simple tools for yourself only for developing your project. I'll be referring to these as dev tools, and I'll be using this old prototype I made in the Gado game engine to demonstrate their power. First issue I had was that testing was becoming increasingly tedious. Every time I added something, I had to travel further and further away to test it. Missed this one hard jump on the way, and you gotta climb all the way back up. So to fix this, I added warp commands. I can now hit F1 and place little markers on the map. and warp to them at will. You may also notice there's other shenanigans going on with the debug panel, which brings me to my other issue I had. I couldn't easily tap into game variables and events. Yes, Godot has a built-in remote, and I do use it sometimes, but oftentimes I want it to be instant, accessible, and not cluttered like this. This is just that. As you can see here, we're tracking the player's velocity and also the combo list. These timed bar things you see are um, part of a plugin I'm writing and they're not relevant. They're basically just like timers. We also got some notifications here for game events. And finally, we can also change the player's abilities here. Currently there's only two abilities though. And here's what the API looks like in code. And here is the debugger. If you don't want to make a full console yourself, you could use a plugin like Panku Console. There are pros and cons to both approaches, so I'll leave it up to you to decide which is best for you. The next example I'll show you is my solution to the don't know where to place platforms problem I mentioned in the intro. I have here a scene made for recording the player's movements. I can record. And finally, saving them as sprites I can plop into other scenes to measure jumps. I basically do this by periodically taking a snapshot of the player's sprite into a sub-viewport, then saving the viewport's texture as a PNG. Actually, here's a bonus example. Camera gizmos that allow me to see the boundaries of the camera at certain zoom levels. Really handy if I want to lock the camera at some positions like uh, you saw earlier. This one's really not complicated, it just makes use of tool scripts and the draw function, which if you don't already know them, you might want to look into. Anyways, making dev tools for yourself can be really handy. All that really matters is that they work for you and your application. I hope you learned something. See you next time.